Now I have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 1 and m of x is equal to 3x plus 1. And in these two examples, I'm going to sub, um, divide f of 3 all over m of negative 1. So in this case, I'm just going to call f of x, which is 2x squared plus 1, all over m of x, which is 3x plus 1, and then substitute my value of 3 for the numerator and negative 1 for the denominator. And simplifying this fraction, I'll have 2 times 3 squared plus 1 all over 3 times negative 1 plus 1. And just simplifying it further using order of operation, you have 2 times 9 plus 1 all over negative 3 plus 1. And in this case, f of 3 all over m of negative 1 will simply give you 19 all over negative 2. Now sometimes you will see an answer as negative of 19 over 2. Number 2, I have 3 of f of 5. And 3 of f of 5 simply means I need to evaluate f of 5. And after evaluating it, I'm going to multiply it to 3. So I have f of 5, which is 2x squared plus 1, replace x by 5, and I'll have 2 times 25 plus 1. Since I need to simplify or to, very, um, to evaluate f of 5 first, which gives me 50 plus 1, I'm just going to multiply it with 3 for my last step because I need to evaluate 3 of f of 5. So that means 3 of f of 5 is equal to 153. So that's um, the other way or some other examples on operations involving frac um, functions. Now, um, there's another uh, operations involving functions, and we call it composition of functions. So sometimes you'll see composition of functions, sometimes they read it as composite functions. Now, this one is unique for functions because unlike polynomials, you will not see this type of operation in polynomial operations. It's, it will only work, or it will only apply for functions. So we have a new notation for this new operations. We have f of g of x. So once again, if you see this type of notation, you read it as f of g of x, or sometimes you can read it as a function of g of x. Now, not only that you will have this type of notation in some problems, sometimes they write it in this notation, f of g of x. So this one is not read as fog x or fog of x. It's function of g of x or f of g of x. And this little circle right here is so it's not multiplication. It's a little circle because um, sometimes you will see f of g of x. Sometimes the op operation will show you f times g of x with a dot. So you have to take note of that when you see a circle, it means f of g of x or composition of functions. So they can write it this way. They can also write it as f of g of x. Now, in this example, I have two functions. In composition functions, you always need two functions or at least two functions to combine them. So I have f of x is equal to 2x plus 3, and I have g of x is equal to x minus 5. And in this case, I'm going to evaluate f of g of x and evaluate g of f of x. Now, how do we evaluate f of g of x? So once again, this is a new type of operations, and most of you are just seeing it for the first time. Now, the technique for evaluating composition of function is to always look at the first letter. If the first letter says f, that means you will use the function f and replace the x in this function by the g of x. So once again, the first letter is f, so I'm just going to copy f of x, which is 2x plus 3. Now, after copying 2x plus 3, I am going to replace the x in my f of x by, not a numerical value, but by the function g of x, which is x minus 5. That's why on my second line right here, it became 2 times x minus 5 plus 3 x minus 5 came from g of x, which is x minus 5. And then now that I set up my equation um, correctly, I can simplify it by the distributive property. So 2x minus 10 plus 3, and by combining like, like terms, f of g of x is equal to 2x minus 7. So you just need to get used to this new notation, and it's really simple to simplify. So you, 
just keep on practicing and you'll get the hang of it. And let's have the second example. Now, instead of using f of g, I'm, I have g of f. So just like what I've mentioned, the technique is to look at the first letter. Since the first letter is letter g, I'm going to copy g of x, which is x minus 5, and I will replace x by f of x. Because the composition of function that we... That um, being required us to solve this g of f of x. So I have 2x plus 3 minus 5. By subtraction, I just need to get rid of the parentheses and I have 2x plus 3 minus 5. And to further simplify it by combining like terms, your g of f of x is 2x minus 2. And that's how you perform composition of function. Let's have more examples. So now let's have f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 and h of x equal to x minus 3. I'm using different functions and I'm going to evaluate different set of problems. In this case, I'm going to evaluate f of h of x. So the first letter is f, so I'm going to use x squared plus 3 and then replace all my x's by the letter h, which is h of x which is x minus 3. Now I have x minus 3 squared plus 3. Now before I continue, I just want to point out that the common error for most students when you're evaluating parentheses x minus 3 raised to 2 is they often distribute the exponent to 3 and to x. So don't make that mistake. x minus 3 parentheses squared means you need to multiply x minus 3 by itself two times. So I have here x minus 3 and x minus 3. So this one is how you simplify x minus 3 raised to 2. You need to FOIL it. So x minus 3 times x minus 3 plus 3 will give you this equation. So you have x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9 plus 3. And then by combining like terms, f of h of x is simply x squared minus 6x plus 12. The second functions or set of functions that I have is h of f of 0. So since h is my first letter, I have x minus 3, and I will replace all my x's by f, which is x squared plus 3. So I have x squared plus 3 right here, minus 3. It's not distributive property. You need to take note that when you have plus or minus in between a parentheses and another parentheses, or in this case, another term, all you have to do is to get rid of the parentheses. So you have x squared plus 3 minus 3. And then simplifying it, 3 minus 3 is 0, that's why I have x squared. However, the question is to find h of f of 0 and not h of f of x. So this one is not yet your final answer. You need to replace it with 0 to get h of f of 0. So h of f of 0 is equal to 0 squared, which gives us 0. So this is how you um, answer this question, h of f of 0, to further simplify it. And that's how you um, perform composition of functions.